Alright guys, we have us a overtime service call here. Thought I'd take y'all along for the ride. I can hear, well I could y'all can see the fan motors running, but I don't hear the compressor. Pull this disconnect here. Get the disconnect pulled. And now we'll Take this big back door off. Milwaukee M12. We have a dual run and we have a start capacitor so we will check the dual run first get a quarter inch my long my long quarter is missing I have to get me a new one The compressor is extremely hot. It's probably in thermal overload. Let's check that. I'll just pull the plug off of it to check that. Now we're closed there. Okay, we're open there. Yep, the compressor's in thermal overload. Okay, let's see why. Let's see if this dual run is any good. Looking for 50 plus 5. And we have it. Yep, capacitor's good. Probably low on refrigerant. And that's why it went into thermal. to test the start capacitor. And there's the potential relay that hooks to it. Okay, that's that's not good. So that's probably our problem right there. Okay. We are going to replace this hard start and see if that'll make the compressor take off. Okay. The 
this is a it's a two wire it looks like uh, no it's a three wire The only thing I have on me is kick starts, which are two wire, but they do work. Uh, sometimes we have five two ones at the shop. Sometimes we have kick starts. I never know what we have in stock. So I, when I restock my truck, I just put whatever's there. I've requested uh, nothing but five two ones to be kept, but um, you know sometimes it just doesn't always happen that way. So we're gonna replace that. This is a three ton machine. So a one to three ton will do the job. That's a three and a half to five. I have some on the other side. Here we go. The pink ones are one to three. So that's what we're gonna use. And you can see right there it says this side up. So I'm gonna mount the potential relay right where the other one was. I do prefer the 521s because they have three wires, but the kick starts do work good. They are good because they, uh, they do have a potential relay. Hard starts that don't have a potential relay like them little subcos and those super boost might be the same. The Super Boost might be made by Subco, I don't know, but th those don't work worth the crap. Okay, so we have that mounted. Now we'll go to Common. We'll put one on Common, because this is the two wire. Nice tight fit. And the other one will go to Hermatica. I may have to get the capacitor out of there to get my hands in there. And if we had a third wire, it would go to the common side of the contactor, the, the black side of the contactor with the black wires, if we had a 521. touching okay okay we're gonna have to cool this thing off and we'll have to find out why it went into thermal was it because of uh, low refrigerant or because that hard start was out of the loop and it just kept trying to start but we won't know that. Until. Until we get it out of thermal overload. I'm getting continuity. I may. I may have to unhook them. do that real quick and unhook the leads I'm unhooking the common and the run from the contactor so that I can clamp my meter on there and that way I'll know when it, when it, when thermal has released and, and then we can restart the system. OK. 
Okay, let me make sure we're open right there. Okay, yeah, we're definitely open. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my alligator clips on here. Okay, and you can see right there we have open line, no continuity. I'm going to get a water hose going on this thing, and then once the meter beeps, we'll know we're good to go. But I'm not going to sit here and film all that. Okay, so I went to, I unrolled the customer's water hose over here, and look what's on the reel. Look at that nice big old nest of them right there. for me okay have the water open all right we'll get back to it all right guys We've got water going on the top of the compressor ah keep sliding off Trying to get it to stay. All right, now, there we are. All right, the meter still has not toned. We still have open line. So we're just gonna sit here and wait for the meter to tone out and then we'll restart the system. All right, guys, you can see we have ohms now. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but you can see we have 1.1 ohms. The compressor has closed. So I'm gonna get this water hose out of here. I'll just leave it running right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up, put these wires back up and see if I can get this sucker to fire off and get this lady some air. She's a poor little old lady and she's hot. get the z-man ready see for low on gas but let's try this first there we go compressor fired all right that's good make sure I'm pretty sure this is R22 yeah it is but you never know I've seen since I've worked for the company that I'm working for now I have seen some uh, that they have put in some older Linux equipment that is 410A so I always make sure Yeah, guys, we're running 70, right at se between about 76, right at 80 pounds of suction. And uh, that's actually pretty normal because it's really, really hot in that house. It's like almost 90. So I'm going to leave that hooked up. And uh, it looks like it was just a failed hard start that wasn't allowing the system to start. And it, and it, or it kept trying to start and that's what went in the thermal 
we're up to 80 pounds now so while I pick up my tools I'll let that Z-man sit there and make sure we don't fall all right guys just went uh, we got a 17 degree temperature split we're still holding at 75 between 75 and 80 uh, we're putting out 63 degrees on the supply grills got like between 16 and 17 degrees of split it's cooling very well so I'm gonna gonna call that good button this thing up so I can go home because we are we are working non-stop I wasn't home very long when I got called out I'm on call right now obviously Gone. And there's my screws. Right, guys all I got to do now is just put the rest of my gear up and record my model and serial number make my ticket out and I'm done so thanks for watching uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it I know it was nothing too interesting but I wanted to throw something up I'm gonna be changing a train coil uh, on on a system that I put in when I was working for myself he followed me over here to this company y'all will probably recognize the job those of y'all that have been following me since I started you'll recognize the job when you see it I have a previous video on it so I'm gonna try to film that tomorrow I should very well be able to film that but anyway thanks for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one